Hello! I am on my uh, really good seed, the last seed video that I did. Uh, I'm on that seed, and oh, man, look at this area. I'm going to talk about this area more in a uh, another video soon. But man, uh, I started this new character because in my free time I was feeling more Valheim, and well, when I have time that's not necessarily like long enough to stream like I'll be busy soon or something you just want to put maybe an hour 30 minutes into a game uh, just load up this world and I specifically wanted to fix some mistakes that I've made in the solo fresh run uh, specifically there were three major ones that I think of uh, number one is the flint axe that I have in my hot bar at number four uh, using that to clear out early Grey Dwarf nests is really nice. Early on, uh, you got a Grey Dwarf nest, you're just messing around, you really want them gone because you're not really equipped to deal with starred Grey Dwarf brutes or anything like that, and so you want to destroy them as quick as possible to make sure that no enemies just sneak up on you from out in the ether, and then a starred Grey Dwarf shaman or brute spawns from the nest, and then that's a disaster. That's a big, big disaster for early game. Especially because I don't think brutes are really afraid of torch fire, and that's a problem. So, a lot of uh, shenanigans with early game for me uh, with flint involve getting the flint axe as my only flint weapon, and upgrading that is something I do for convenience and chopping wood. But, of course, being able to use that same convenience for effectiveness in deleting a grey dwarf nest as fast as possible is something that I really should be doing more often and I should have been doing in my fresh run. Now, similarly, going forward, upgrading the bronze axe. Not because I'll need to destroy the Grey Dwarf nests at that point. No, I can just leave them there or just ignore them or use them to farm certain mats or levels. No, no, no. Just for wood chopping convenience. See, I used a bronze axe all the way up until the crystal battle axe, and because of that, it's just really, really good to have that upgraded with all of its chop value increased for all of that time that I'm using it to chop down whatever. It could be a large variety of things, it most likely will be a large variety of things. And so I really want the efficiency to chop that down. Now, something else bronze that I should have made, the bronze mace. Yes, bronze mace. Something just died over there. I should have made and then maxed out the bronze mace. Well, that character and this character now, I'm not really investing in clubs. Or I'm not trying to. I'm just using them per my convenience. But there's the thing. Having a bronze mace maxed for the swamps is convenience. It is so, so much convenience. Being able to shred skeletons in one hit so that you can deal with bigger problems at hand. Uh, being able to uh, use the verticality of the middle mouse for leeches, being able to use that verticality just in general for slopes uh, on that middle mouse is just so convenient. Using that middle mouse to just absolutely destroy oozers at nighttime and then the blobs that follow with said mace is just so, so convenient. It's just getting these problems out of the way. Now, I had thought that, okay, I'll just use this quality for a club, I've seen people do it before, they go all the way up to the swamps, they just go quality 4 club to iron mace. Seems right. That seems good. That seems like a good amount of save time and effort on bronze, and bronze is annoying. And then, I'd realized, well, you're still going to be using the club. It's still far more convenient than your piercing options, like bow and at gear that are exceptional in every other aspect, versus blunt weak enemies, right? Uh, so I still end up using the club a bunch. And I mentioned this in my Fresh Run playthrough that, hey, I, it's a mistake not to make and max the Bronze Mace. I'm not using the club, like, any less. I'm just taking more hits, and I'm getting more levels, which I eventually won't even need in the end game, current end game. So it's kind of silly. As long as I have something that will carry out a better utility and I'll continue to use it and invest in it, you know, up until Frostner, right? Frostner and Iron Sledge. Then, well, might as well make the Bronze Mace. And something else that benefits from a 
extending the bronze grind a little bit, is the pickaxe levels. Now, I really wanted bronze pickaxe quality 4, not just because it's a nice secondary pickaxe and I don't have to go back and constantly repair antler at the workbench or anything. However, it's also really good to have those strong pickaxe and good pickaxe levels for a coastal leviathan to get as much chitin as possible, get your early abyssal harpoon, and go take out your early serpents. Now, while that's exceptionally good in that regard, uh, not as much in, say, well, every other thing. So, what I mean by that is being able to have that early pickaxe, get that early chitin, I'm not really making the Abyssal Razor for my run, so as soon as I make the one Abyssal, Ra Abyssal Harpoon, I'm just kind of sat here with this really nice bronze pickaxe with all these pickaxe levels. And while the pickaxe levels will certainly help also for iron and silver, uh, it ends up not being as much relevance once I get all of the chitin that I need. And so, it's really only good for the one, and it's kind of RNG dependent, so... Mm, bit of a mixed bag for getting all those levels, but I still think it's worth it. I still think it's a bit of a mistake for me not to just go and uh, get that bronze mace, upgrade that bronze mace and that bronze axe, and really put the pain on the Grey Dwarf Nests with my Flint Axe Quality 3 here. Uh, everything else in the run has been pretty fantastic, and I do plan on continuing it soon. It's just been so disgustingly hot and humid, and in order to deal with all of that pain uh, and suffering, of course, we have AC and fans, which are, of course, very loud, and so I can't access them while streaming in this closed-off room. And so everything is hot, humid, and very limited. Stream, <laughs> stream size and string length is very limited. But I do plan on getting that new episode stream soon enough. Thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye!